welcome back to my channel. If you are a new visitor here, please consider subscribing. Um, if you have a Dolly channel of your own, let me know and I'll be very happy to get subscribed to you as well. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, the thumbs up. <laughs> we would really appreciate it because it does really help. Um, bit of an odd camera angle today, but I think it'll be okay. I am changing this sweet girl right here. I think what I might do is just kind of switch her around a little bit. Because now that I'm... Alright, Carl, can you move? So now that I'm looking at it, I think it might be better if she's more like this. Actually, that's not really good either. <laughs> oh my gosh fooling around with this tripod and just trying to find things that feel like right are sometimes kind of, it's kind of interesting sometimes. Um, I think we'll just go with this. I think she'll be okay. I think she can see you guys and you can see her, but this is Philippa. And Philippa is the um, Fridolin Sculpt by um, Corolla Wegerich, and I'm getting her changed today um, into a cute little outfit. So it is Thursday morning. And I am very tired. We have had a lot of stuff going on. And yeah, oh, her leg is just kind of flipping backward. Poor baby. Poor baby. She's on a jointed body. And so sometimes it's, you know, her limbs will just kind of go everywhere. <laughs> gracious why do I always get hot flashes right when I am doing a video of one of my bigger babies it just never seems to fail that I will get a hot flash when I am doing this oh my goodness oh my goodness Pippa mommy is on fire she's on fire Pippa <laughs> oh my goodness there she is there she is is she looking at you no she's not there she is now she's looking at you I have to figure out what is going on with this leg is he sorry guys I know that's disturbing looking that I'm just trying to figure, oh, there we go. Okay, I think that's probably better. I think that's probably better. <laughs> now her arms are going everywhere. Poor baby. I'm just gonna get her into this really cute outfit. That is very fall. A pair of chocolate brown pants and this adorable mayoral little duck sweater dress. Isn't that cute? I think it's going to be super, super cute on her. I just love the idea of putting this on her. Let's put your pants on first. I should have really rethought this camera angle before I tried it, but it's too late now. <laughs> This leg is just confusing me. Like, what is happening? Hmm. Well, it 
it's so loose. It's just really, really loose. I wish she was not on a jointed body, but can't do anything about that. Okay, let's get this on her. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm just really tired, which is why I sound like I do. It's just been a long couple days. I have a staff meeting this morning, so I'm going in a lot earlier than I normally would. What is up with your leg? I just don't know. Honey, I just don't know what's up with your leg. It's just going everywhere. The other one behaves pretty normally, but this one just... I don't know. I wonder if I need to maybe like take it off. Maybe. And like rework it. And, like put it back on. Possibly. I don't know. Have you guys ever had that happen with your jointed dolls? Where their legs will be kind of like strange? It's super strange. Okay. Let's put this on you over your head. Yes, there she is. Can you see her? There she is. I did some surgery on her the other day. She She's older. Um, she's an older baby and her stuffing in her chest had become kind of um, compacted and so she was really really floppy even though she is um, an older girl, but she was really, really floppy. So we, I'm just gonna set her up for a minute. Come here. Come here, sweet. Come here, sweetie pie. But her chest was really compacted, so I took, I got in those new, um, God, oh, my cat's outside the door. I got it in those new zip ties, so I took off her head and I added, oh my gosh, I added a ton of stuffing to her. And now she sits up so good. So much better. Oh, Raina, you're fine. She's outside the door just wailing her head off because she wants inside. she wants inside. Boy, this barely fits you. This is pretty snug. I bet on a zero to three, baby, this would probably, sorry guys, she's going everywhere. This would probably be a dress on a zero to three, baby. But on her, because she is such a big girl, it's a sweater. <laughs> I might have to try this one time on one of my zero to three babies. I bet Iona would look really cute in this. Let's get this on you. Okay. Can I straighten you up? Can you look back at people? There she is. She is so cute. She's so realistic looking. I just absolutely love, love, love this baby. I love her little hands. I love the way they're posed. They're so dramatic. And she always has this little worried expression on her face. It's so cute. This leg is bothering me so bad. I'm going to have to fix that leg. Okay. I've got little cream colored socks for her teeny tiny little feet. So let's put those on. And I've got some shoes for her as well. Got some little shoes, so she'll be matchy matchy. Oh gosh, you guys. I'm gonna do a video, um, I think tomorrow to talk to you guys about what I've been going through with some stuff, um, 
why October, this particular October has been so hard for me emotionally. Am I petting this on the right foot? This one is three to six months, so I had issues with these shoes before. can't see my head because I have a towel on my head because I just got out of the shower. Oh, let's see. Can we get this on you? Mom's about to give up the idea of having shoes on you today. Because she's horrible at putting shoes on these itty bitty feet. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got it. Get the other one on. These shoes are really, really cute. They're little um, sparkly Mary Janes. At some point, I am taking that leg off and figuring out what's going on with it. It's like the joint is like twisted. So it doesn't, um, it doesn't sit right on her for some reason. I am horrible at shoes, you guys. I don't think you'll ever meet anybody worse at doll shoes than I am. You can absolutely tell that I never had a real child. I used to put shoes on my nieces all the time, but why is it easier to put shoes on a human child than a doll? Okay, there we go. So there we go. Okay, so there she is. I'm sorry guys, this camera angle is absolutely not good. And I probably won't do it again. But there she is, I just, <laughs> I'm sorry I whopped your little nose. There she is, she's in her cute little shoes. Her little Mary Jane, see her little Mary Janes. Say hi, Sammy. We love you. <laughs> She's so cute. Hi. <laughs> I love her so much. She is so sweet to hold and to love on. I love holding her and, um, and loving on her. She feels very, very real in my arms. Um, I adore her. I love her eyes, her big just emotion filled eyes. This baby has so much emotion in her face and I just, I love that. I love when reborns are really, really expressive. They don't always have to be, you know, smiling or kind of have a blank stare or laughing. Sometimes I like the anxious little expressions too. It's very realistic, but I'm going to have to work on this leg. That is driving me nuts. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So I will talk to you guys later. So until next time, take care, take care of each other. Love you guys. Bye.